as we walk all these grasshoppers flying through the air. Action! My feet are going in the Missouri River. Oh, how exciting! Oh, how cold! Is it cold? Oh, <laughs> so refreshing. And oh, clean. is it? Is it nice and clean too, huh? It's very clean. Wow. Glorious Hello, day. In the Say hi kids. Look at all the swallows on the surface of the water. Having a great time. Hi kids, having a fantastic time. See you when I get home. I can dry off. I'm trying to stop it. Oh. Oh. Like an Indian, and how? <laughs> there's, there's Princess Sacagawea. <laughs> Eating her time. Looking out over her poor Missouri River. It's all backed up. Stifled by a damn dam. Built by the white man. My grandfather Matthias Seltinger had nothing to do with it. Just south of Minot, July 3rd, middle of the morning, windmills in North Dakota. A Villa Militaire was on the other end, kind of catty corner from the powder magazine. Oh, okay. Right in that area. Okay, okay. Now there's two rows of officers' quarters here. Uh -huh. Starting here, down to those two little trees. And then okay. on the other side of the boardwalk, another row coming back this way. All right. Now the size of the post is from that approach road you drove in on yeah. to the river. We can't even see the river. Okay. The river off to the west. Waiting for me? A feed? A Did feed. you say, oh, a V? You never think of those guys waiting around. They're not going to land and bother to land. They're just going to like mosey around waiting for their buddy to come. You think they're pelicans, huh? Oh, they are. I saw their long hook in their neck. And now watch, they'll fly off in a V. Maybe. And look, those four are coming up from way down there. Here we go. Tara is taking me on a wild goose chase into the valley of the unknown. Hey, 
Tara, you taken me on this damn hike. You took me down in the bottom of this canyon. And we got to go all the way back up there. It's a half mile down and a half mile back up. Half mile down, half mile back up. But we still got a long ways to go. Let's get hoofing. Came across this rattlesnake. Oh. Hey Tara, where do you think of that rattlesnake there? I think I'm glad he's going in your direction. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, is, is, he, is he getting closer? Yeah, but he's got to be coiled yeah. first. Oh, I used to handle rattlesnakes. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. I could pick him up right now and kiss him on the mouth and he wouldn't do a thing. And he'll bite you with his venom. And we should hold him. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what you're going to do with it, huh? <laughs> There's Tara, she finally got to the little Missouri River, put her little footies in it. I'm going to dive into the Missouri with my fingers. We stopped at this little campsite. What a great location to go camping. Right along the Missouri, the little Missouri. What you got? This was in the bottom of the little Missouri. Gold? Little bits of bad lands.
ranching that brought him out here in the first place. He had been hearing, he was a city slicker, he was in New York at the time, but hearing about the adventures that people were having out here in North Dakota hunting. What in the world did he want to come out here and hunt? Does anyone know? Buffalo? Yes, you're right. He caught the tail end of the, the bison hunts that were going on. So by the time he came out here, the great herds were pretty much eliminated. Come on, boys. Come on. Here, cow. Here, cow. Got a boy. It's a stampede, Tara. Here, cow. Here, cow. Bessie, Bessie, Bessie. They're all lined up for inspection. What are you feeding them? Sweet clover. Sweet clover. You must be the guy in charge. Right. Oh yeah, this is the bull here. I can tell he's the bull. The guy right in front of me. Yep, he's herding them all off now.